we, we stop and we do a quick trade. Does anyone have any last minute questions of anything they want to go over? <clears throat> um, and again, I know not everybody here is on the options letter. Uh, in fact, I, I don't know if anyone's even going to be honest with me. Those of you that are on the options letter, did you kill the trades that I called Friday? Did you kill them? I mean, I don't know if anyone's going to tell me the truth. And not everybody here is on the letter, but I called trades on Friday that were down, but now will be up huge. Did, it, did anybody kill them? Tioga is still in all. Elaine killed Google. Jackie, did you kill any? Google was so down, I, I was like, why even kill it, Elaine? Well, what's the point of killing it? To save like $52? I mean, it was like, why, why, why kill it? It was so down. And, and that may even go on to work. Candy couldn't trade the last three days? All right, well, then you have an excuse. What about Michael G? What about Michael? What about Hector? Some of you in here aren't talking. And what about G5? Now, Carl isn't on the options letter yet, but Carl has been doing great. Carl, I emailed you Friday. I don't know if you got it. Carl is friends with my father, was not sizing correctly, did one little video with him. He fixed the problem immediately. And a little birdie told me that he's having a huge month of May. We need to do another little video again. Carl, you're doing great, and you didn't even tell me. He did. He had one problem, and finally then talked to him. He fixed the problem, and that's all it took. That's all it took. He fixed the problem immediately, and now he's doing fantastic. So, I mean, it's not like you never have problems, but if you have a problem and you talk to me about it, then you fix it. If you have a problem, and you know what the problem is, it's an easy solution. You fix it. You fix it, and you start doing great right away. So I'm very proud of Carl. Four weeks in a row, he's kicking ass. Kicking ass and taking names. Michael is out of town. Ay, 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 it's too bad. Hector only did one. All right. Who, what about you? Those of you that are quiet, I know that you killed the trades. You don't, you can't get away with anything from me. I'm too intuitive. It's almost like I can read your mind. I can, I can. So let's just call it like I see it. I can read the mind of the market and I can read the mind of you people too. I know when people in here are doing things they shouldn't be doing. Madam Melissa, yeah. Michael G, you need to get fixed with your broker. Just get on the horn with them. Get on the horn with them and get it fixed. You have three minutes. And again, I don't know when we're when we're doing this. So we're gonna watch Apple and we will watch Baidu too. This is another one that I I I I boo do do. Just, I don't, I don't, I can't even talk right now. So be aware of that. <laughs> if I can read your mind, it's a short story. No. Howard, I know that you are ready to go. You're getting set up. You're getting situated mentally. You're in a great position. You just got to get everything organized. So the holiday will be good for this week. The room's closed Friday. Some of you can take this this week and start to get organized. How much money you're gonna risk in the month of June? Look at the money you made for May. Are you doing good? Do you need to make any changes? Can you take more? Are you doing very well? Let's look at GME quickly. It's low volume, but that's down. Oh, you know what? I haven't looked at Disney this morning. Not that I'm worried about this, but whew, well, I'm glad I didn't call this on Friday. Another perfect example why you can't go long every bullish gap. Actually, it was Thursday. No, I'm sorry. It was Thursday. This very well could have took off like a rocket last week, Thursday into Friday. And I looked at it and I said, uh, you know, 
I'm so glad I didn't call this. I am so glad because nobody would have got out of it. It really wouldn't have been up enough and then it would have been down today. And again, this is just in a rest period here, but this thing's fine. But uh, uh, see again, you can't go, you can't even go long every bullish gap in a strong stock, just like you can't short every bearish gap in weak stocks. You just, you can't, you have to be, I mean, in this, in these market times, even though I'm very excitable today, you have to know what you're doing more than ever, but you always should, but you really have to. And what's interesting is my calls this year have been so great. It's the people, like this will push this period, this year, when you get to that point, it was either gonna push you to do absolutely fantastic, the better, it's gonna make you better, or it's gonna crush you. So I'm rising to the top, my calls are improving, but it's because I'm pushing myself like to excel and exceed and see things even clearer, like I'm pushing it. And if, but that's what it, that's what this environment brings out. Strong rise to the top under challenges and the weak fail even more. Now, I just have to look at everything in here and see. I think everything's going to continue here today. Now, the question is what time? All right, flipping, flipping here to Baidu. Flipping here to Baidu, it's a tie between Baidu and Apple this morning for the day trade. Geez Louisers. Wow, 122 is a dream target for this. 120 is the next number. This is through that already. I just don't know what we should do here today. First, right out of the gate. So let's let's watch Baidu now. The way this opened here, let's watch it. Just went through the dream target right in here. 120 is in sight for this today, even in the teens. Let's watch Baidu for the day trade here. Plan of action has changed. No one should be in anything yet. Let's do 121. 121.15. This is a big stop by 123.55. This is a big stop, but this is going to be worth it. 15 by 55 if it hits, and I don't know if it will. Well, I hopefully we'll get a better entry, but this might just completely fall. Fifteen by fifty-five. Any better than the numbers? Here, do it! Do it and get in it right now. 123.55. We will worry about adding or doing something. Here, this is gonna go. It's gonna go right down to 120. Be in it if you want. We'll get out of it quickly then if we need to. Let me just see what else is happening here. Oh, the market is so tempting today, though. It's very, 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 very delicious. All right, Apple. Gosh. I don't really know if I want to do two things, but we could. Crap, crap, crap. Two things is a lot. Here, Baidu, just take it down to 120. Just take it down to 120. Let's see if we can get it under 120. Here, here it goes. We got, I hope everybody did it. It was a big stop. But it doesn't even matter. Here. Try to get it through 120. Baidu. It's up to you if you want to get out of this option or not. Or I mean, here, here. Try to let it break. There, there, out, 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 out. All right, here we go. That's it for the day trade. Let's look at Apple right now. Hold on. Let's see if we can do something else. Wow, what a nice start to the week. Jeez, I just don't know if this is going to go right in here. just don't know if this is going to go right away. Mm. No, I'm going to wait a little bit on Apple, but it might just rock and roll. I don't know. 180 on Apple is valid today. Crap. Are we going to miss it? Shoot. Man, everything's just going to sell off. That was such a nice start to the week, though. It's still going. Here, where did it land? That was a great exit, though. That really was a great exit. 119.01. Is anybody still in this? I really think that was a great exit, but here it goes. It's going to break here. It just broke 119. Holy cannolis. Is anyone still in this? I thought that was a great exit. I honestly thought that was a great exit. Ah, crap. Maybe we just don't do any other day trades today. I, I, that was a beautiful start to the week. And the options we have on, that's what we normally do. We won't short everything in the world if the market collapses. We wouldn't do 10 trade, day trades anyways. I'm not sure if that apple is ready to go just this second. This second. Yeah, great exit. Did anyone get out of this and have an exit with 118 in front of it? Because if you did, that was amazing. 
but I really think we had a great exit in this bar, but holy crap. 118.55. I think we're going to call it a day with the day trades. Three minutes into the open and we're done. I really think it's just, let's just focus on everything else. Apple's going though. Crap, crap, crap. It's just right after you have a trade like that, when you're absolutely perfect here, this is going here. Be in the option already. If you're in it, you're in it. I, 180 is the target for this today. I'll look at what everybody else wrote, but uh, we could have done as a day trade too. Here, it's too late. It's too late. It's going. All right, let me see what everybody wrote. I don't want to start like doing 10 trades a day just because of the markets falling, unless they are options, because it's easier to manage those for the speed. Carl wrote 180, 176. Let's take a look at, here this goes. Here this goes. 176, 175. 175 looks good, Carl. Some people wrote targets that it's already through. <laughs> Brent wrote 182, 85. Those numbers don't even exist anymore. All right, let me just see what else is happening in the world. We, we, we would have had to make a split, split, split second decision to do that Apple. And after that Baidu trade, it was a, such a nice trade. It's just like, eh. Here, Apple at 180. Gosh, I have to 